जय श्री कृष्ण जय श्री रामचंद्र जय श्री लक्ष्मी इंद्र सिंह सो टूडे आई विल बी स्पीकिंग अबाउट अ वाइड अरे ऑफ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इश्यूज दैट आर गोइंग टू अफेक्ट ऑल ऑफ अस अलोंग विद एन अपडेट ऑन व्हाट इज गोइंग टू हैपन नेक्स्ट इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी टॉक्ड अबाउट सेवरल इश्यूज एंड वी कैन सी इन टुडेस वीडियो वी गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द ग्लोबल एनर्जी क्राइसिस एक्सट्रीम वेदर एंड इकोनॉमिक चैलेंजेस पोज्ड बाय दिस अकॉर्डिंग टू वैदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो dated september 21 2021 and an article also posted on the website i had mentioned that china would be affected mainly and this particular video is based on that particular video so i would recommend uh, viewers who have not yet watched my previous video to revisit it and uh, get a better outlook on what exactly is going on at the moment so since jupiter entered capricorn which was the subject of my previous video on the 13th of september jupiter entered capricorn and around evening on that particular day uh, a celestial object uh, an unidentified celestial object possibly uh, an an uh, an asteroid or a meteor just hit the surface of jupiter and uh, since then uh, moment it entered the sign of capricorn we've seen a lot of different changes happening to the world uh, weather has been impacted we having the unprecedented so called unprecedented energy crisis the coal crisis and now all of this is coming to threaten the economy we also having this global supply chain crisis and all of these things are tumbling out uh, starting september 13 we're seeing that each one of these things have been tumbling out china's economy of course has been affected to a large extent which we're going to look now and we're seeing how things are changing energy crisis is deepening worldwide and uh, we're seeing a lot of different changes the traditional model of energy is actually switching and in this switching we're experiencing a lot of turmoil and that's what we are in today and we're going to ex- uh, now today we're going to explore what are going to be the consequences of this switch and where we are heading towards in the next few months considering that we are just entering into a kala sarpa yoga this december 10th 2021 around the second week of december a kala sarpa yoga is forming slowly and steadily and this is certainly going to have a lot of impact on the world and uh, the next few months of the world are going to be decided by the impact of the kala sarpa yoga so let's go deep into this video now china's economy has already slowed down and that was of course because of the energy crisis the power shortage and supply chain disruption we also had ever grande crisis uh, the major property developer in china so we are having all of these things happening together in china and interestingly most of these things have happened after september 13th in the sense they have come out in the news and also they have come out to the rest of the world only after september 13th and the big parties at the stock markets are just about to be stalled very soon because of all all of the things that are happening today so we're going to figure out in this video when exactly such things could happen so it started with china but it is coming for the rest of the world for people who think that it's only something relating to china uh i am sure about it that this particular crisis situation has just started in china but it's coming for the rest of the world very soon and we're already seeing signs of this though several governments around the world are just reassuring people that there's not going to be any trouble i'm sure that this trouble is spreading like a contagion it is moving from place to place and this global supply chain crisis is certainly going to catch us very soon and this is basically uh you know got into the picture only after september 13th to a large extent it has entered the world economy and now it is entering the news etc only after the september 13th so it is supposed to intensify after december 10 2021 and most of these effects are supposed to come even to the united states very soon after december 10 2021 so we're entering into a phase where it's going to get worse before it's going to get better but surely things are going to get better and i'm going to cover that part also very soon coming to cryptocurrencies in my previous video and article uh, which has been archived for you here I had mentioned that uh, till October 11, 2021, the prices of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are going to be stable and on the positive side. Uh, after that, there will be more volatility and there will be record prices after October 11, and we have seen record prices recently. And uh, of course, after which it will experience a very big correction after November 2000, uh, after November 21, 2021. And as per the previous video. between october 11 2021 and november 21 2021 bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies would experience uh, 
record prices. And we're seeing that today. So I will make a separate video on the next uh, outlook for cryptocurrencies. But overall, cryptocurrencies are an emerging market and we have very less limited research, astronomical data and uh, also financial data regarding this to associate it and to uh, come to a conclusion regarding what's going to happen next about it. So it's too early to make a solid comment, but certainly past research has proven that it is following the astrological trends. And I mentioned this in both the video and the article, which you can refer. Uh, there is a detailed outlook of cryptocurrencies also in that particular video. The next separate video on the future of cryptocurrencies will be aired around 25th of October 2021 on our website as well as YouTube channel. So now I would like to speak about extreme weather and how it is going to affect the world around this winter till May 2022 in a gist. So cold temperatures and heavy rains are supposed to continue in all areas where we had the year of the moon in the beginning of the year. And uh, the year of the moon was for the entire Asian continent, uh, along with many parts of Europe, of course, entirety of Europe and uh, India, Southeast Asia, etc. went through the year of the moon. Uh, whereas, uh, so for all countries that have gone through the year of the moon, we can expect um, wet climate for the next uh, few months. And it is also going to be quite cold. And this year, unusually, there will be extreme weather, of course, late into the winter instead of being early because of the year of the moon. We can expect more problems relating to weather because of this. And uh, it'll it'll be more prevalent, especially in areas which are generally, um, you know, which generally attract more rainfall. And uh, overall, most places which are going through the year of the moon will receive wet, wet uh, climate during this particular time. Whereas there is an equally powerful year of the sun in the US, Canada, South America, most, most parts of South America. And this causes a dry, mixed and hot weather. Uh, in certain cases and in certain places, there will also be rain. But the main feature will be dry, mixed and hot, which you're already seeing in the last few months. And it's because of this basic difference between the year of the moon and the year of the sun, because the lunar year began on a particular day that uh, is named in Sanskrit like Bhanuvasara, Somavasara, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and so on. So this time it started for these particular areas uh, on, on a Sunday. So it is known as the lunar year of the sun. And moving forward, I would also like to comment on COVID-19. Because excepting India, several countries experienced at least one powerful wave of COVID-19 starting June 20th, since when Jupiter went retrograde, uh, which is a very important feature of Jupiter retrogrades. At the same time, we also saw that many highly vaccinated countries faced extremely high infection rates, including the UK, uh, US, Singapore, Israel, etc. All of these countries experienced high uh, high COVID-19 cases and infections and some of them even very high deaths. Uh, in fact, they also saw peaks in their entire pandemic lifetime. And uh, that is very interesting and very important for most people who support vaccination. This is proof to show that vaccination hasn't done anything great for these areas. In fact, it has caused more damage than good as per my research and as per science. And of course, it's available for everyone to see. All of these countries I'm talking about have seen the worst waves just after their vaccination programs were begun. And some of them after more than 100% of their vaccination was completed. And some of them, most of the deaths have happened in vaccinated people. So several areas in Europe are battling the third and the fourth waves despite high levels of vaccination. So that's the takeaway point. But what next is the question? Starting in the second week of December 2021, we're likely to see a bigger wave and this might affect countries across the world. And this is surely going to be mainly in countries that are vaccinated. As you're already seeing, Singapore was lauded for its vaccination so-called efforts. But uh, what we saw was really contrary to what was being uh, projected that Singapore is really doing well. But at the moment, we can see that Singapore has witnessed its record cases in, uh, in, in, in the very uh, short term. We just saw that Singapore witnessed record cases. Uh, Israel also party to the same. Uh, UK and US, all of these countries have seen their scientists wondering what went wrong? 
But uh, if you look deep into science, we can easily see that these countries are highly vaccinated and they're facing the problems. And I really pity all those who have been hoping for years together, uh, for, for months together now, that vaccination is going to change their lives. And of course, it has changed their lives. But the direction seems to be negative. Now I would like to speak about a very important subject. And this is by far one of the most important parts of the videos. And I'm going to connect many issues in this particular slide. So we have the global energy crisis because of the transition between Capricorn and Aquarius uh, in the global horoscope. We also have at the same time uh, an entire situation that is playing out a supply chain crisis, a global energy crisis, a looming threat of a new COVID-19 wave, weak global health because of artificial methods of uh, tampering with the virus and so many more different things that are occurring simultaneously. And I believe that this has one common and powerful effect that is going to hit us all very soon. Um, if not all of us, at least major countries across the world are going to be hit by this. Poorer populations are surely going to be hit by famines and floods and natural disasters are surely coming up. And with the global energy crisis and the supply chain crisis that we're seeing famine, at least a smaller version of famine is sure to be seen between December 10, 2021 and May 2022. So this is what I see as per this horoscope because we're seeing that there is a Kala Sarpa Yoga playing out and the global horoscope clearly shows that all the planets are aligning themselves between the northern node of the moon referred to as Rahu and the southern node of the moon referred to as Ketu. So this is known as the Kala Sarpa Yoga and we could expect many events occurring between December 10, 2021 and May 2022. This is surely not for fear mongering. This is a duty as an astrologer to warn people of what's going to happen next for any people for 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 any of the viewers watching who feels that astrology uh, somehow makes them feel fearful. Of course, astrology is not a tool to make you fearful, but you make but to make you prepared, better prepared for what's going to happen next. Coming to the summary, things are going to get quite worse before getting better in the second half of 2022. So the second half of 2022, we can expect a substantial improvement. And number two, very important point is that this is an era that is very similar to the general crisis of the 16th and 17th centuries, when global economies were shattered and there were constant panics. So this is quite similar to that. Uh, and uh, we are also going to see very similar things because the whole world is going through something that has been very much planned since many years by a group of elite people. And they are naming it the Great Reset. And I'm sure that this Great Reset is going to take place. But we need to guard ourselves and our personal interests and the interests of our friends and family members and the entire global community uh, we have to guard it and uh, the only way of doing it is to uh, start working on the solutions which I'm also going to present in the next slide. We all need to be prepared as each and every event occurring in the next 20 years are going to systematically affect every one of us, including the entirety of human civilization for the next 400 years, which I've been saying since my previous videos. Uh, the phenomenal phase we're going through is so powerful as to affect the next 400 years in a short span of 20 years, uh, unlike our previous generations, which were going quite slowly paced. This particular generation that we are facing at the moment is super paced and we're going to see a lot of developments, mostly towards the negative side. There's surely going to be positive developments too. There's going to be a mini golden age and then there is also going to be a boom and bust of several industries and there's going to be rapid rapid development in several industries. I'm going to cover each one of these in the next few videos I'm going to make. And this is what is going to happen. We all need to be prepared. And that's the summary. Uh, the several new crisis situations. Of course, when the world is changing and moving from one mode to the other, we have to see a major stop. We have to see a reset. We have to see crisis situations and then we can enter into a better phase. So that's how the world cycle runs. And maybe that's what we're going through at the moment. The solutions, of course, are very important. We have presented the problems in the last few slides, but the solutions seem to be much more important than the problems. For most people, the solutions are the main thing. And without the solutions, we cannot complete any assessment. 
So the first thing would be set up your own alternative energy sources because we don't want to be victims of the great energy source transition. I would call this the great energy source transition to a large extent. So solar power is certainly promising and I would recommend people to set up backup uh, and alternative energy sources for their own uh, homes and businesses too, if possible. And number two, when it comes to investments, many people are quite bullish on uh, bitcoins and uh, of course on cryptocurrencies uh, and other altcoins. But I would say to add a note of caution to this, of course, cryptocurrencies are an emerging and promising technology that will certainly have a lot of influence for the next 20 years and will redefine the entire financial movement that humanity is going through. At the same time, uh, of course, we will need to be very cautious as there is certainly going to be one big crash uh, for Bitcoin and for the stock markets and they both move in tandem. So I'm sure that this particular situation is going to affect the prices of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. So the best investment to make is gold and silver and cryptocurrencies may be invested but only for the long term and, and a sensible person would invest in them only after they hit a very low. So I think that low is going to be hit uh, around May 2022, although I will come up with more concrete research on this subject. Cryptocurrencies are very complex and I'll be explaining them in detail in my next video. Number three, very important, grow your own food, please. Buy organic agricultural land. That's a very important investment. We humans are not supposed to be jam-packed uh, in apartments. We're not supposed to be jam-packed in small spaces. Instead, we humans are meant to live in sparsely populated open areas, which of course reduce the you know the you know the possibility of disease transmission, increase the quality of life, and overall they do improve our entire living experience on Earth and help us move towards the spiritual path. Uh, of course, a larger space is very important for this, and an organic agricultural land uh, is one of the best things anyone can invest in at the moment. We all in the ancient times had organic agricultural land, but because of all the colonialist movements, we lost much of our ancient heritage. And today it is important for us to revive all of it. And uh, the only way of doing it, one of the only ways of doing it would be obtaining organic, uh, organic agricultural land, switching to more stable assets like gold and silver, making sure that everyone has a backup energy system because we cannot rely on the grid always and the next few months are going to prove that. The governments seem to be uh, so-called reassuring people about the entire situation, but I'm sure that their, their reassurance is not going to be uh, of, uh, you know, so their, 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 reassur their reassurance doesn't seem to assure me personally. And I believe that a crisis is coming up in that area. And uh, of course, uh, as an ending point, I would like to stress on one very important thing. It's the last, but it's the most important and it is reverberated throughout our scriptures. So follow Mother Nature because she knows best what's going to happen next, relies completely on Mother Nature. Take care of the pieces of Mother Nature that have been provided to you. Like for example, we have air, we have water, we have energy, everything provided by Mother Nature. So take care of it conserve it and use it in a cautious manner. We all need to do it together in order to experience a better life and in order to ensure that we have future for the entire human civilization. And last but most important, we will need to have faith in God. And just adding to the subject of growing your own food, be careful of the entire energy situation, including the food energy situation. That is, for example, gas prices are reaching record highs. There's a transition between the Capricornian phase and the Aquarian phase. So we have to be really careful of assets that are Capricornian in nature. And now cryptocurrencies are Capricornian and Aquarian in, in nature. Gas, food gas and uh, also the, the LPG, liquid petroleum gas, etc., are also Capricornian assets that are slowly switching to Aquarian modes. So all of these assets are going to experience crisis situations. Coal is a Capricornian asset. And all of these assets, all of these commodities, uh, instead of saying assets, all of these commodities are going to experience crisis situations in the short term as well as the long term. So we all need to prepare for that. Uh, be it home or business needs, we all need to prepare for that. And being... Uh, resilient towards this crisis 
one more step is very important and that is um, setting up your own herbal garden and staying wary of the elitist plants that are coming up the evil elite are setting up so many new plants every moment for humanity and i think that is all in the wrong direction uh we having these artificial chemicals being pumped into everyone's body every moment shot in the arms and uh, we just cross 100 billion of them which doesn't seem to be a positive thing uh you know something that is natural and something that helps all of us is a herbal garden in everyone's backyard so utilizing herbs that our ancients have provided to us and that mother nature has herself kept for humanity i think that is the major cure and the most important cure for everything uh, i do not mean to demean modern technology but i mean to the uh, i i i would like to stress on the fact that the present wave that is going on uh, the artificial equipment wave that is going on is certainly in the negative direction they're trying to do something wrong for humanity and i'm sure that the only way to come out of this crisis is to embrace mother nature and to come back to mother nature so thank you jai shri krishna jai shri ramachandra jai shri lakshmi narasimha